The world is watching to see if House Speaker Nancy Pelosi follows through on her plan to visit Taiwan. It's drawing both pushback from the Biden administration and major threats from the Chinese government, who has warned that the United States quote, should not play with fire. And they are threatening to even shoot her plane down if it flies to Taiwan. Joining us is Tennessee Republican Congressman Chuck Fleischman. Congressman, this is really serious language. And in fact, them saying that if there may be some F-16s with and Nancy Pelosi, should she go to Taiwan first, they'll send a warning, and then they might even shoot them down. What do you make of this rhetoric? Well, this rhetoric is unacceptable from China. Um, any American should be safe when they travel, including the Speaker of the House. Let's face it, she's the worst speaker I think we've had in history. But all Americans, including Speaker Pelosi, the President, uh, Republicans, Democrats, American citizens, need to be safe, and we cannot tolerate any foreign nation uh, going out and threatening us. We need to respond. Joe Biden needs to respond loudly and clearly. Uh, the speaker needs to be kept safe uh, wherever she travels, um, and this is just an outrage. Do you think, Congressman, that the president has really fallen short and sort of sent a signal of weakness first saying, you know, well, the military's not, you know, interested in her really going. They're not excited or not supportive, I should say, of her going to Taiwan. And then, of course, as it turns out, it's Republican members of Congress that seem to be most supportive of her following three because they understand it'll be a position of weakness if she doesn't. Well, Joe Biden has been in a position of weakness and sent an American message of weakness from the inception. The day he took office, his policies, whether on the domestic front, on the economic front, uh, the way that uh, the, the Chinese are looking at how we handle Russia uh, and their invasion of Ukraine, uh, we are not as strong as we were under President Donald Trump. We're not as resolved as we were under President Donald Trump. We are rudderless and confused in the executive office. Our friends know it. Our foes know it. And unfortunately, this leads to aggressive action by our foes. Right now, China is our main competition and our main foe in the world. They want Taiwan. Taiwan does not want them. We've been a long ally of Taiwan. So, uh, But this rhetoric has got to be condemned, uh, and China needs to, needs to back, back off. Do you believe she should indeed go to Taiwan on this trip? Do you think it's very important, even more so now? Well, that's something for the speaker to decide. She and I do not speak. Uh, I disagree with her domestic agenda, which has been an outrage. Yesterday, we got another ridiculous uh, assault ban. We're just getting buried in radical left-wing uh, agenda in the House. But that's got to be her call. Uh, just as Senator Schumer would make his calls, uh, or Biden. Uh, but uh, these decisions, once they're made, we have to stand together as Americans and make absolutely certain that we protect our people. One thousand percent. To that point, do you think that there should even be Republicans on the trip, too, uh, just to send a cohesive message? Certainly. Um, uh, this, uh, there used to be a time in America, when I was a young man, when American foreign policy was not Republican or Democratic, it was American. We stood strong for the great United States of America, domestically, internationally. Our friends could count on us. Our foes feared us. They no longer do that. Uh, China, Russia, other countries are realizing that the United States, under Joe Biden, has fallen into a malaise of mediocrity, and it's not good for the United States. We've got to reassess our foreign policy, come together as Americans, but put America first and America interest first, not global interest. We've got to stand strong for the United States of America. How important do you think also, as the world is watching and China certainly watching, uh, what is going on now and how we handle this? Um, I think back, of course, sadly, about the withdrawal of Afghanistan uh, that was certainly not done well. Um, a lot of people contend maybe the lead up to Russia, Ukraine. So the world is really watching this, and there's a lot of bad actors who are watching how we handle this, don't you think? You're absolutely right. Uh, Afghanistan was one of the biggest debacles in American history. It was a failed withdrawal that cost billions of dollars and really put us on the international stage as a weak and confused actor. 
uh, we can always recalibrate, but President Biden is not doing that. But yes, the entire world, again, our allies are looking to us. When President Trump was, was president of the United States, I would go around the world and meet with world leaders. And let me be specific, Egypt, Hungary, Israel, uh, all over uh, the Middle East and, and in Europe. And what did they say to a person? Thank President Trump for leading again. Thank America for leading again. Uh, whether it's a Republican or Democrat in the White House, we may disagree on domestic policy, but foreign policy needs to be a strong resolve, a strong defense, a strong deterrent, and putting American interests first. I want America to be strong again. The Democratic Party, and unfortunately under Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, have just taken us in the wrong direction. Uh, I don't know whether it's globalism. I don't know what it is. Just extreme frailty and inability on their side. We've got to cure this in November. Let me go back to this point. We need to elect Republicans in the House. We're going to do that. It's going to be big. But please, if you're sitting in a state where you've got a Senate race, vote for the Republican senator. Whether it's BBB or, or the next scam of the day from the, from the Democrats, uh, including Joe Biden giving in on BBB, which is an outrage, We've got to get a Republican Congress back in place to block Biden domestically and internationally. But you know, on this one, I want to stand together as Americans against the Chinese aggression and say enough is enough. We will not let American uh, officials at any level in any party be challenged. And by the way, to uh, that point, we saw this week that uh, deal that suddenly came about with Senator Schumer and also Senator Manchin. That was a surprise. People were not expecting Senator Manchin to necessarily go in on this deal based on the history and some of his past comics. Uh, as we know, it includes a tax hike and it also includes massive climate spending. Uh, what's your reaction to that? Is that the wrong deal at this time, especially? It's the worst deal at this time. Let me be clear. And unfortunately, uh, the Democrats, whether it's uh, Biden, Pelosi, Schumer, the radical left, they have an agenda. And that agenda could not be more bad for this country in any way. Uh, it's bad for our economy. It's bad for every aspect of the American Republic, in my view and in my heart. But what they do, they're tricky. They take a little. They started this with the infrastructure bill. Remember, it was going to be infrastructure and BBB. They get these little wins and they put these wins away. They got the chips deal, right? And they got a lot of Republicans to vote for the chips deal, didn't they? And then what happens? Joe Manchin comes out on their side. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a Democrat with a capital D. Don't forget that. BBB is a disaster for the United States. $740 billion more in spending. It raises taxes. It's going to be inflationary. It's another political ploy by the Democrats to save not only their falling agenda, but their falling chances in the polls. They know they're way behind. They know they're losing. So what are they going to do? It's plain and simple. They jettison to their base because they've got to make sure that their base at least comes out. They're going to lose, but if they lose their base, they're going to get wiped out. So this is another ploy, but it's bad for America. All right, Congressman Fleischman. And again, a big concern to middle of America because those tax hikes are going to trickle down, not just to businesses, but of course, the average American. Thank you so much for being with us on such an important day. Thank you, Congressman. It's a pleasure. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. I want to tell you about the Patriot Gold Group. But first, let me tell you that the S&P has already lost $8.2 trillion in 2022. Did you know that? Peak inflation is not even hit despite the Fed rate hikes on groceries, on gas. You know it as well as I do. Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs are warning of another 20% drop. Inflation is winning in a knockout right now. The Fed is going to raise rates again at the end of July. Meanwhile, Goldman, Wells Fargo, and Bloomberg are all forecasting gold to surpass all time highs. If you want to invest in gold, call 888-936-2373 now. Call the Patriot Gold Group today and ask about their No Fee for Life IRA. Sounds like a good deal, don't it? Here's the number, 888-936-2373, 888-936-2373 for the Patriot Gold Group.